good morning children so today i am just explaining you a chapter in mathematics of your standard 9th class the chapter name is lines and angles so basically many of you have known that many terminologies in terms of geometry so for example observe that here if i am keeping like this one so what you will say like this one many will say like it's a dot yes it's dot only but as per the maths it is called as a point so how can we define point in terms of geometry because this is completely comes under the concept called geometry in your sixth class you learned about a point a point is just uh, placed by a sharp edge of any like pen pencil or you can say like no dimension circle like we have many definition just simply call it as a point is a dot but when you are taking the point here and i am taking another point how can we label this point as yes you all know that the points are labeled as with the letters a b c d all the letters now when we join these two so you can join like this or you can join like this or you can join like this however you just you want joining the points a and b there are infinitely many methods are there but when we are <coughs> want to when you are trying to join these two points by a straight path so this is the only method which we are supposed to join so this is geometrically we will call it as line segment that will simply write it as a b bar simply read as a b bar so these two points you can write as a b bar or you can write as b a bar but when you are trying to extend this a b bar both the sides extend this continuously so in such cases it is called as we will write it as like this one a b bar this is also a b bar this is also a bar difference is this is line segment this is straight line straight line this is called as ab straight line so simply we call it as even line also that means a line is extended continuously in both the directions of a line segment and when you want to define the line segment <coughs> a line joining the two points a and b is called as line segment or a part of this straight line is called as line segment ab but when we are taking the point a and i'm taking the point b and if we are just extending only in one way that is for example this is a only one way so ab bar like this this is also ab bar only but definition is different so this we will call it as ray or a ray for example if i'm expanding So this is also called as AB ray only, but simply we write as BA. So ray. So a ray can be extended only one direction. One will be end point. So here A and B are called end points. So these are the terminology which you have learned in the previous class. Point, line segment, ray, straight line, and end points. But Observe this is the one ray as like a b is the one ray with the same initial point i am trying to draw one more ray so let's go for c so a b is the one ray a c is the another ray the distance between these two rays whatever you are just having this we will call it as angle so this we will write simply angle a because at the point a you are getting an angle so you should write it as angle a so this even in other words you can write it as angle C A B or else you can write it as angle B A C so B A C C A B so this is called as angle so an angle is found by two rays with one end point so where this is ab is called as 
initial ray and ac is called as terminal ray initial ray and then terminal ray so an angle is formed by two rays with one end point a that is called as an angle so we can write symbolically angle a or angle cav or angle bac this is called as initial ray and this is called as terminal ray arms these both are called as arms also a r m s so every angle have one arms so now just observe here till now whatever we discuss about a line and then angle that is only our chapter lines and angles so why we are supposed to learn this chapter in our textbook so basically when you observe anywhere so these type of lines and angles are identified by you maybe just the page of the book see here i'm just up there here in this part in this part you are getting one angle just turning the page of the book and line segments we see this window you are getting some uh, line segments like this line this is all part this is the line so anywhere whatever you see in your uh, uh, home or somewhere you can see all these lines and angles so now we are supposed to learn what type of angles we have and how what are the different qualities are available in these angles we just observe here so the angles are basically divided into some types see observe here so when you are taking here this is only one point that means there is no angle is coming so that is called as zero angle is there but if you are writing an angle like this this is zero o a b this angle has come no? so this angle is always more than zero and less than 90 that means in between 0 to 90 0 to 90 such angle yes you already learned this also it is called as acute angle for example this angle is exactly 90 degrees so this is the angle so we will write like, like this one so this angle is exactly 90 degrees so some that is called as right angle and if it is more than 90 like this you can see here just 90 more than 90 and less than 180 degrees such angle is called as obtuse angle and for example if this angle is exactly 180 degrees so here the angle so you can see here oh yeah this terminal ray this initial ray terminal ray will go on like this and just form a straight line so exactly 100 degrees this is called as straight angle so when the angle is exactly 100 degrees that is called a straight angle now sometimes the terminal ray like this only initially like this only and terminal will be moving on like this one so it means it is more than 180 degrees and then till up to 360 degrees then that angle is called as reflex angle and if the angle is exactly reaching the o a that terminal ray again b b going on going on going on and again reaches to b that means a reaches the b reaches to a that we will write symbolically like this one one complete round so such angle that means this angle is actually equals to 360 degrees so this is called as complete and one round so that is called as complete angle so now once up here the angles are types zero angle complete angle looks like same because zero angle means no angle formed here we will write simply o a there won't be any initial initial there won't be any terminal ray but coming to complete angle initial ray and terminal ray both are matches that means a equals to b so zero angle acute angle 
right angle obtuse angle straight angle reflex angle complete angle so these are the different types of angles available we have and with the help of this basic knowledge angles and straight lines we will do some further concepts in our ninth class standard first of all i want to know i mentioned already degrees 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 so what is the degrees in the sense if you take one circle and if the circle is divided exactly 360 parts so this entire circle is divided into 360 parts this is the one for, for example one part they start this is second part. like this if you divide into 360 parts where each part is defined as the one degree so degree is the measurement of an angle so now once again i'll explain you if it is exactly zero degrees that is called zero angle if it is zero to 90 degrees that is called as acute angle if it is 90 degrees that is called as right angle if it is more than 90 and less than 100 degrees that is called as obtuse angle if it is exactly 180 degrees that is called as straight angle if it is 180 degrees to 360 is called as reflex angle and then the angle is exactly 360 degrees i mean one complete round is completed so that is in called as complete angle now children i am just taking two straight lines this is the one straight line and this is another straight line so what will happen let us name it as a b and this is D. These two straight lines meet at one point. Let us go for O. So if two lines are meeting at one point, such lines are called as intersecting lines. Such lines are called as intersecting lines. If two lines meet at one point, and the two lines have only one common point, that is called intersecting lines. Now you may ask ourselves so if it is two lines, okay. If it is more than two lines, like three lines, four lines, or five lines, must pass us through all one point. So like this. So it's also oh, these are lines. So such lines are called concurrent lines. C O N C U R R E N T. Concurrent lines. If two lines means intersecting lines. If more than two lines means concurrent lines. So here this point is called as intersecting point this point is called as point of concurrence point of concurrence so this is about a basic terminology of your first exercise in the fourth chapter see children just listen once again this video and try to understand each and every terminology and you complete first exercise by your own it's very small exercise and easy to do it so i'm sending you the screenshot of the first exercise you try to do if you're unable to complete by today evening i will send you the even solutions also but i don't want to send the solutions you better try to do by your own okay children so this is entire complete notes once again i'm showing you whatever today i discussed you this is the notes so just revise it once again you will get the clear idea of the class thank you children in the next class i will continue this chapter thank you have a good day see collinear points three or more points are lie on same line are called as collinear points here a b c are called as collinear points in this case a b and c are not called as collinear points now the next one is plane. A plane is has a length and breadth which doesn't have any thickness. Maybe our book, this wall, maybe our board, this table, anything comes under the plane, doesn't have any thickness. Okay children?